Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the brand new trail bike. I still can't believe how good it looks. I cannot fathom how cool this bike has turned out. Against all odds, against getting a bike shop to choose the spec, against putting daring stickers on it in the Dyed Bro frame protection in the Hawaii 2.0, lots of risks. And it turned out looking this epic. So today I'm gonna ride it. And I've just ridden it from the van to here, so it's already dirty. But that's the reality of December and I'm pretty ready to go. It's not 100% finished. I haven't cut the bars down. They're still 800 mil wide. So it feels like I'm holding and wielding a spirit level while riding it. Um, I need to sort out the cables. The dropper post cable is too long. It's outrageous. It's like a lasso. This one, the rear brake, I should have brought it out the other side of the frame. Look, it goes into the left, which makes that awkward. It needs to go the other way, which a lot of you commented. So well done for spotting that. Thanks for the inspiration. And then what else? I just need to charge up the rear derailleur because it's I've been playing with it so much <laughs> doing this that when I got here today, it was pretty much dead. So it's actually basically finished. I don't know what I'm moaning about. I'm just going to ride it. This is the hip line. Very legendary old school track at Woburn. But up there, there's a monster left hip and this right hip sick, you can pretty much land on that tree up there, which is a good 25 foot. I think that's gonna be a good warm up for the new trail bike. <laughs> In fact, that's how wide the bars are. It hits the seat. Wow. No bar spins today, unless you put the seat up. There you go, <laughs> look at that. Ready for a 50 mile loop and the shops. Let's go. I haven't even put air in the suspension. I forgot. Oh, Look mate. Look how soft the rear shock is. <laughs> that is bad. That is bad, Matthew. I've got the best suspension ever and I haven't set it up. I'm going to book it in at Plush to have a full setup because honestly, having your suspension set up correctly prevents things like that happening and just feels <laughs> amazing. Let's do it again. I'm just going to have to like work with it. <laughs> Damn. Sick. I think I bottomed out the rear. <laughs> Dude, it's so light. Honestly. So playful. I'm gonna go again. It looks I wanna so get my good. back wheel on the tree. Did my back wheel get close to the tree? I feel like it did, that yeah. That might have been the noise. Does it look cool? It looks so good. I'm gonna wear a chest cam later for this sort of view. Oh yeah. Back wheel on, on at least tree stump. Get it. Target practice. Get it. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Not even close. It feels cool in the air. Look at the takeoff. Oh my god. Look at this. How can you stay on line <laughs> when there's like 55 year old carpet in a bog on my new bike? <laughs> I've chosen the worst but best track. It's a challenge. Oh my god. Wow. Let's go again. Oh! You're getting closer. Close. Yeah. That berm's rad as well. It actually corners really well having wide bars. You get more control. Obviously, it's easier to bar drag. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to cut them down to 750. How cool is this bike? I'm very much treating it as just a play bike park bike at the minute. But I want to get my back wheel on that tree. I think it was. Close enough. I could go one further. Checking. Yeah, I want to really get on the tree. <laughs> you could probably like, you could really hurt yourself if you like, if you hit the tree. It's a long jump. Yeah. It feels epic now. I'm getting the hang of it. Corners feel insane. I, I'm really pleased I went for a size medium, but still have the big wheels. I'm chuffed. But we've got more riding to do yet. And more back wheel slammage <laughs> with the brand new Vortex. Bang! <laughs> that was on the tree. <laughs> yes. There she is. That's cool. That was insane. The mad thing is when you go through that carpet slop, you don't have any say in really where you're going. 
it just puts you offline. You're like wrestling it with the big bars. And then the moment you leave the lift, it's just like, everything's like light and super nice, set up so good. <laughs> that was nuts. Epic. It sounds like you ripped off some bark. Did it? Yeah. I could have done. Oh, there's a mark. You know what? I'm going to hit that right turn again because I love it. It's just winter slop. Yeah. See if I can actually get close to a bar drag. And then the hit before, I'll show you, there's a massive one. I'm going to hit the massive one in a minute. Thick. No! <laughs> oh my god! You went straight through that! I know! I was like Moses parting the Red Sea! <laughs> oh mate! My bike didn't get wet, it was a full manual! <laughs> the poor beast! Let's go once more! I've actually ruined the berm for everyone! That was so funny because I wasn't sure which side of the puddle to stand to not get wet and you went straight mid centre. <laughs> I'll go again. Yeah, there oh, we go. That was sick. For a 50 mile loop. <laughs> Honestly, it feels sick. The brakes are insanely powerful. I don't know whether it's just hope, the braided hosing, the fact that Brink set them up, I don't know. They swapped out the little orange adjusters. That one does the reach of the brake, which is super cool, easy. And then that one's the brake bite, bite point contact, BPC. That's a stab in the dark. I'm gonna get corrected in the comments. <laughs> that literally adjusts the pad distance from the rotor. So when your brake pulls in really far before it works, you can just adjust that and you have more play. I don't know. Now they're bedding in from getting hot, cold, just happening, stuff's happening, they feel great. It's always weird with brakes, it takes a minute to know whether they're sick or not, then these ones are cool. These are very, very cool. Let's go and hit the left hip. This is the lip I have been hitting. And then this one is the same gap, but way more juicy. Wait, I keep slipping and catching the shifter. It's really sensitive and you just hear <laughs> where it's shifting. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. Me and uh, Sam Johnson and my mate Ben, different Ben I'm afraid, Ben. That's what I mean. Dug this out 45 years ago. Get um. deep so you can have an actual proper lip. Very excited. It's a big jump actually. It's, it's a big jump. This is getting fully treated as a slope style trail bike. Not a uh, 50 mile trail bike. Should I do a 50 mile vlog? A 50 mile vlog, just non-stop? Yeah. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Into the sloppy turns. Got a brake to get it in now. Out the fly out, along the fence. Set up jump into the leafy chasm. Yo, Ben. Whoa! That felt sick! Oh, I fell to the tree again! <laughs> this bike flies like a dart. Leafy chasm. Yo, Ben. Whoa! <laughs> you went so much harder than I thought. I didn't even catch you. It's a sick jump, isn't it? It's mad. It's a crazy jump. Cool. Again? Again. Again. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! That was so close. <laughs> it was well close. You weren't stood on the landing, were you? But you were stood on the landing. <laughs> yeah. Like you were, but you weren't. Oh, I keep staring at this thing. I'm very, 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 very extremely lucky to have a bike like this. It's so sick. And it's not been set up, which is a bit embarrassing when I've raved about having the best suspension that Brink sourced and they haven't even had the chance to set it up yet, but that's on me. I'll get it booked in. You know that drop I hit earlier into the puddle? Yeah. I want to do a like gas to flat challenge on my own, me versus myself. Okay. <laughs> Just want to jump this to flat and see <laughs> what trail bikes can take. No, because it's an interesting one. A trail bike on paper doesn't do what I'm doing on it, but I've just been so high in the air. Imagine what people on the road think, just looking up at the lay by and it's like, <laughs> it's so confused. I've just gone straight into jumping it and it feels amazing. And now I want to know what trail bikes can do. It's an interesting phenomena. So let's gas this fairly flat. Okay. I'll just go as far as I can. Then paddle smash, then burn. Ben, you use this stick perhaps. To oh, gauge okay, where you land. It's a pretty rubbish I'll do that, mate. No, I'll be all right. I didn't do that well. It's so hard to get speed. We can do better. Goes there. I'm gonna have to beat that now, mate. I know. I've not got loads of landing left, but I'm definitely not flat. You can't call it gas to flat, can you? Full gas. Full gas. Oh, exact same spot. Really? Yeah. I need to man up a lot. 
It's hard to get speed along that little edge up there. Yeah, I bet. But I can do better. Full power! <laughs> oh, me! <laughs> My visor <laughs> came down like a medieval warrior. <laughs> Damn. That was better. That was big, mate. I was drifting the whole way along up there. <laughs> One more. Yeah? You reckon you yeah. got further than that? So if my back wheel was there... You can see where your back wheel was. Look, that's where it landed. There. Okay. So that means my front wheel probably landed there. Yeah. So I'm one foot, half a metre from flat. Yeah. We can find a foot in, in this great distance. And then the biggest puddle slam slash... <laughs> up my back it's not too bad oh is it not oh i was dreading the ruining my garment help flare. Help. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think That's of all awkward. people ben you'd be able to pronounce the brand name but okay you haven't had a lot of rest not enough well, sleep let's just move on yeah what's this gas to flat it's going to be extremely dangerous gassy. and gassy on suspension that hasn't been prepared for the these activities no it's pretty much ready to go out of the box isn't it yeah just not not tuned for my needs. Here we go. Get it. Oh! I touched it. Yes. Oh, I'm gutted. The section up there is unrideable at that speed. I can see you coming through the trees so quick. It looks gnarly. I think I, I gassed almost to flat. No, go on, one more. One more, okay. <laughs> The helmet! That's as far as I can go. And my helmet keeps doing this. <laughs> but like to there, need to get that adjusted. That's as far as I can go. I can't, I can gas somewhat to flat, but I haven't got the minerals. It's the bit before. I actually can't get the speed. I've just had a realization during the most epic session that I haven't announced the giveaway winners. When I strip this bike, all the stuff that came off it is getting given away, if you can guess correctly, the stuff that went on. And I had a little scroll through this morning. Sam Godsif guessed Olin's Fork and Shock and SRAM AXS drivetrain. So I'm gonna give you the cranks because the FSA cranks that came off it because the next two people guessed everything correctly. UK Trails DH Seth B, Olin's Hope Brakes and SRAM AXS. So I'm gonna give you both the wheels with tires on. And then this person, these are, these are old screenshots by the way. I screenshotted this when the comment was 11 seconds old. Olin's fork, SRAM AXS XX1, correct. Hope Tech 3 E4 disc brakes. You got everything. Matteo.f. You get the dropper, the dropper lever, the seat, the bars, the stem, basically everything else. Oh, and the first guy, you can have the rear mech. So they're the winners. A lot of you guessed correctly, but I only had three things to give away, so I'll just keep doing this when I build more bikes because it's quite fun and a lot of you got involved. Right, we've had a very insane session in an extremely small section of Woburn. Ben's hardly moved. <laughs> so we're going to go and ride some more stuff before it gets dark and really just revel in the excitement that this bike brings me. I love it. I honestly love it. Very lucky lad. So let's go and hit some more stuff. It's getting dark, but the frame protection, the graphics look sick. Oh, I don't know. Never been that way. <laughs> this bike is insane. I cased the last jump a lot. <laughs> But I actually, on any other bike, wouldn't have gone for it. It's just, it's just so poppy, this. It feels like you can get a bit of extra distance on takeoff. I don't know what it is. Just light and small and playful and epic. And the brakes are so powerful already. I might try ride along the log. It's always like a classic new <laughs> bike thing. Look at the slime. Now, that's a bad idea, but let's have a go at it. Was that a spider you just threw off there? No, it's just some twigs. Yeah, look like one. Very, very slick and exciting. I'm gonna try it. The slickness. Good luck, mate. Just go straight. The trick is to look, yeah, to go straight and look <laughs> at the end of the log. <laughs> oh. Miserably slick. <laughs> oh. Yes. 
Yeah. Back count, Corby count. Yeah. <laughs> this bike's dope. Honestly, I'm so happy. So many cool things. The way it looks, the suspension feels immense. I'm just so aware that it needs to be tuned and set up for me. The gears do their own thing. Look at them go. Brakes are cool. Just so many new things that I've never tried on one epic bike. That's so sick. I hope you enjoyed the video of me ripping this thing. It was only woven, it's only a small tame bike park, but sort of where trail bikes come alive. This is gonna get a lot of use this winter, there's no doubt. We can always swap the dyed bro, but everything else is gonna stay the same. So massive shout out to Brink for the build, for the help, to you guys for your suggestions. Congrats to the giveaway winners. Send me a message on Instagram, a DM. And other than that, we're about done here. It's dark, ready for another day. Nice one, Ben. Always. Nice one, legends. Peace. To celebrate passing the slippery log of doom challenge successfully, you can go to hellfair.com and use discount code LOGRIDE to get 25% off all products, but make sure all the letters are in caps. <laughs> <laughs>